So don't clown on me yeah y'all done seen this shirt and y'all done seen these little floral earrings in the previous video that's because i'm trying to you know get more than one video done out in this day because the lord has been speaking and so when he speaks i gotta just do what he said so the topic for this video is i'm thirsty and it's based off the worship song i'm thirsty by marisat now I did want to give y'all a little snippet, but I ain't got no chorus in the background and I ain't got nobody to back me up and I don't think it's going to come out right, but I'm going to leave the link down below so that you can listen on your own time of the song. It's an awesome worship song, so I encourage you to listen to it and let me know what you think. So now without further ado, let's get into the message for today. Now y'all know, again, I'm trying to get used to this iPad. My girl Sharonda, she been trying to get me to cross over to the Apple side of things. So I'm slowly trying to make my way on over. <laughs> this is an experience, but I'm learning and I'm willing to try it out this time. So being thirsty means feeling a need to drink something. Longing for a drink, in need of a drink, uh, means dry, dehydrated, in need of water, parched, baked, waterless, moistureless, and in the hood, um, th to be thirsty means also to be desperate. And so what the Lord gave me was in the natural, water is a nutrient, it's a natural vitamin for us. We need water because it helps keep our skin clear, it helps you know, with the natural fluids in our body, it helps us release toxins. On days where I do good, I drink half my body weight in water. My skin is always clear. Uh, I don't have any issues with breakouts or anything like that, but when I don't drink enough water, girl, like if I don't put a moisturizer on my skin, you might as well call me Sister Patches. Like, cause my skin will be so dry and so parched. How the Lord gave it to me was, I don't want to be dry as a Christian. In the natural, again, if we don't drink enough water, we don't apply a moisturizer, we're going to be dry. If we don't get into this here word, we are going to be dry. Now, it does not mean that we sit there and memorize a whole bunch of scriptures or that we become walking Bibles. No, we are to become living epistles. That means our life should reflect what we're reading. Our life should reflect what we're learning, what we've been taught, okay? Not just, like I said, walking around like many Bible apps <laughs> because it really doesn't mean anything. Like, that's not going to bring God glory just because you can uh, recite the whole book of Psalms. But what does bring God glory is when people see you and they can get delivered from your testimony. You can tell them where God brought you from and where you are today. Like that brings God glory. Your obedience brings God's glory. And that's a part of not becoming dry. All right. So I got a scripture for you. And the scripture is from John 4 verse 14 and it reads but whoever drinks the water that i give him this is jesus talking will never be thirsty again but the water that i give him will become in him a spring of water satisfying his thirst for god welling up continually flowing bubbling within him to eternal life like I don't, I'm not really a green thumb type of person, but I can grow a few <laughs> spider plants. And I know that if I don't water my plants, they're going to dry up. They're going to wither up and they're going to die. I don't want to wither up and I don't want to die at all. I need the word to come alive in me. And so in order for the word to come alive in me, I got to get into the book. Now, I'm using this iPad today, but I have an actual Bible. I'm just trying to, you know, get used to using this iPad thingamajig, okay? <laughs> but yeah, in order for us to become, you know, of use to the Lord, we got to get into the book so that we can know Jesus for ourselves. So we can have that living water that's springing up. So that we can be, like I said, walking epistles, not just say, hey, do you know Jesus? Hey, do you know Jesus? Hey, hey. No, we ain't got to be fanatics. But pe people can look at us and see God's works and not say, oh, well, I know she did that on her own. No, ma'am. No, sir. Like, 
I ain't none of this got nothing to do with Naja because this was not the plan for my life. But when I answered the call, this is what God said do. So I done got jacked up by the Lord before. And I ain't trying to go in no more. When I didn't do what the Lord told me to do, I got the pop ministry. I done learned my lesson. So that means I'm getting into my word more, putting Naja aside and doing what God say do. Why? Because I don't want to be dry. Anything that I want to be thirsty after for is Jesus. I want to hunger and I want to thirst after righteousness. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.